Joe Shiesty. Joey Burr. Money Mac. The Cincinnati Bengals are in the Super Bowl. If you would have told me that at the beginning of the season, I would have told you you are crazy. We're talking about Cincinnati here, who hasn't been to the Super Bowl since the 80s, much less won a playoff game since then. And then Joe Burrow and them boys, and give credit to the defense as well, come in and get the job done. I, this is just crazy stuff. I mean, hometown of Cincinnati, you've always grown up and like the Bengals as well. Huge Seahawks fan, but also got to support the Bengals and stuff. Like I said, hometown guy. And uh, it's crazy to see. It's great to see for the city. This doesn't normally happen to Cincinnati sports teams. Normally, whatever can go wrong goes wrong, just like back in 2015 when they played the Steelers. They had the game locked away practically, and we fumbled it up and lost. So the, seeing what's happened in this playoff run has been crazy. And, I mean, Joe Burrow is just that, that guy. I mean, he's, he's something else. So well, now that I'm done with that rant, I had to, I had to get that in there a little bit. Uh, we are playing Retro Bowl today. We are in week 14 playing Dallas, and we're going to spice it up for you guys a little bit this week as well. So last week was an absolutely crazy game. We have to. We'll punt it, but I doubt we'll have to. We should be able to run the clock with the time we got. Just going to run the ball with Swain here. It would make sense to just... No way! No! No, he just fumbled! You're joking! Okay, they got the ball with eight seconds. They go to the end zone. Oh my gosh! Are they gonna get the two? Is this going to O2? Oh my gosh, we're in OT! Let's go ahead and just start this, let's see. And they kick it off, so we get the ball. That makes me feel a little better. We can, we have, our destiny is, it's in our hands. It's in our hands. Can we do it? Two seconds left. Okay, here we go. Did we miss? Oh my goodness, we won! On a last second field goal in overtime. That was absolutely insane. So last week's challenge made it a super awesome game, and we're going to be doing the same thing this week as well. It was super fun. I wanted to have more games like that. So this week, we're going to be trying out Extreme Difficulty. I've been playing on Dynamic. It gets better each week as you win and stuff. But now we're playing Extreme, and Extreme makes the team that you're playing five stars, I'm pretty sure, no matter what. Because Dallas was a five-star offense and then had like a two-star defense. But when I put it on Extreme, they got a five-star offense and five-star defense now. So let's go ahead and get straight into this one. Okay, so as you can see, we are 12-0 and in the AFC West. Kansas City was uh, tied with us for a long time. They hadn't lost the game, and then they, they went on a three-game losing streak. So we're breaking away from them a little bit. I think we got this division pretty much wrapped up. But with playing on Extreme now against Dallas, we'll see what happens today. So let's go ahead and change the difficulty. There it is. We were on Dynamic. Let's go ahead and switch that to Extreme. So th this is going to be a really, a really tough game for sure. Okay, so there you have it. We are a two-star defense and a three-star offense going up against Dallas, who on extreme difficulty is now a five-star offense and five-star defense, so only six and six. This is going to be probably the ultimate test. I know last week we were still on dynamic and stuff, and we didn't have our quarterback and everything, but this should be an absolute shootout. I mean, they should score most of the time, and it should be a lot harder to move the ball on offense. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'm excited for this. Alrighty, so we are on the road and we are set to kick off to start the game. I'm a little nervous for this one, not going to lie. I mean, they're going to probably score every time they have the ball. I mean, that's just how it is, extreme difficulty. So any misstep, interception, fumble, we just don't get points. It's going to be hard to win this game. And there we go. There's already a touchdown. No, oh, we stopped them. Okay, that's rare. And they missed a field goal. That is unbelievable. We got to stop with no points. Okay, so I couldn't ask for much more than that. I mean, normally they score every time they miss the field goal too. I, we got to capitalize on that. We got to capitalize. We're going to run the ball like we normally do. Game plan today, just move the chains. Move the chains. We're not going to get big chunk yard plays with Riddick every play. Okay, so Rag coming across the middle. Riddick is as well. And you know what? We're going to get it to our no name. We're going to go down. We don't want him to fumble. We, we just keep moving the ball like this. I'll take it. I'll take it. That ends the first quarter. Let's see what we can do here in second. All right, so now we got to make up for that. Let's see. We got Swain. Good throw. Good throw. Let's go. Let's go. But we're in a fourth down situation. We should have dove right there. I'm a little nervous trying to run it, but we're going to. We're going to. We're going to dive. Let's go. We got it. I was just hoping we didn't get held up. Okay, so we're first and goal. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe we can get it to Riddick. We're not going to be able to. Let's see if we can score here with Clap. Come on. Dive in. Ah, I tried to dive. Okay, we're at the one. We're at the one. All right, we're going to try and get it to Riddick here. No, it's tipped off. Oh my goodness, we are getting lucky today. That was tipped, almost intercepted. Caught though. Another tipped pass caught. Riddick tips it up to himself and gets a touchdown. Woo! So even though we are on extreme difficulty, we're still gonna be going for two today. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna have to run it here. That's okay. That's okay. If they're not gonna have a spy on clap, he can move. He can move. I'll take it. All right, so let's see what we do here again. And they're moving the ball easy. I mean, that stop is rare, especially that they missed a field goal. 
Bear it out. Interception. This is unbelievable. We are on extreme difficulty. And Dallas didn't score in the first half. This is unbelievable. I, I can't I can't ask for a better defensive play today. Okay, so we are in a really good spot. We got the ball to start the second half. They didn't score at all. I I just we got an interception. They missed the field goal. I mean, we seriously couldn't be having a better a better game today, especially on defense. All right, there we go. Six yard game from Swain to start the to, uh, to start the draft. Cool. Okay, so we got Riddick on and out right here. We might be able to get to him. Perfect. Let's go. What a perfect throw. That was a great play call. Had the slow DB on him. Let's go, baby. Okay, so it's third and nine here. Let's see what we can do. I'm a little nervous. We might be able to get to Riddick. Let's go. Riddick is coming, coming big time clutch right here. Okay, so it's third and goal. I'm getting a little nervous. We need to send these guys to the end zone. And ah, we almost got the diving catch from Riddick. Just outstretched hands. Oh no. So normally in this situation, I would 100% go for it on fourth down, but it's fourth and goal. We have 10 yards to go, and how Dallas hasn't scored yet. We're up eight to nothing. We're gonna get a field goal. We we need to make this a two possession game. So here we go. There we go. Okay, we got the field goal. We're up by two scores. We normally don't get field goals, but I'll take it. That ends the third quarter too. Two possession lead. Uh, okay. All right. So they got the ball again. They're moving it. They're moving it. They keep it midfield. They're taking it. They're taking it downfield. Good thing is, is this is taking the whole quarter and they score. Okay, they're probably gonna kick an onside kick. They didn't get the two. They onside kick it. And we got it. Okay, so we can run at the clock. What an absolute ball game. Okay, so this game literally was so low scoring, 11 to six. I mean, that, that drive took almost a whole quarter for them. And I would say that defense, their missed field goal and that defense to stop in the first half with the interception, unbelievable stuff right there. First field goal we's, we've actually kicked, I believe, since we started playing this game. All right, so third down here. Let's go ahead and uh, we're not going to risk it for the biscuit. We're going to, we're just going to do some simple plays, have someone over underneath. Just try and get it to Riddick here. Something easy like that. We just need to move the chains and look at that. Look at him go. Look at that. That ends the game. That ended the game on that play right there. What an absolute, it was just a weird game. I mean, we were on extreme. We normally never get stops and we did. I mean, such a low scoring game. Like I said, it would be 11 to six, but we got it done on extreme difficulty. I mean, that was tough. Okay, so we've improved to 13 and 0. Kansas City also won this week. They're now 10 and three. So uh, we just got to keep winning these games and we're looking good. We're looking good. We have the best record in the NFL. I'll take it, I'll take it. All righty, and so... <laughs> Clap had 146 yards and one touchdown. Swain with 44 yards. Riddick 94 yards and a touchdown. You can just you can see how different that extreme difficulty made, and you see it right there. I mean, that was an absolute game. But I'll take it. We got the dub. That's all I wanted. We just had that. We had to do whatever we had to do to win that game. All right, guys, and that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it probably wasn't as fun as last week's game. This was literally really low scoring, not much going on. And like I said, it surprised me how well the defense played on extreme, but I'll take it, I'll take it. So if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Also comment down below what season you're in and how many retro bowls you have won. Um, I mean, we're, we're going for our first one in, in, in this year too. So like I said, if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time.